We're back in Delhi. We left uh, northern India yesterday, last night, with a bus, and uh, we arrived here this morning. The bus ride started at six in the evening yesterday, and then around six in the morning today, the bus stopped, like an hour outside of Delhi, and it turned out there was like a police check just up ahead, and the bus driver apparently didn't have a bus driving license <laughs> so we just uh, had to wait there like nobody really knew what was gonna happen um, and then we took our stuff our bags and went up to to the road it was like a big road highway and cars were driving really fast but then some people managed to to stop like a local bus and then we went on that bus and uh, that took us all the way into into town or where we are now. We are in a place called Majnu Katila, which is like a Tibetan colony in Delhi. So much nicer here than in, in the rest of Delhi. From what I've seen, I haven't seen much of Delhi, but it's quite like chaotic. But here it's really nice and quiet. When we were on that local bus, it was like one of those with like no windows and the doors were open as well. And they were driving like so fast, like 110 or something. And um, Maybe not that fast, but it felt like it was really fast. I had to hold on, like I was afraid I was going to fall out the door. And uh, we drove past two trucks that was loaded with chickens, you know, live chickens on the way to slaughter. And at that moment I was like, you know, that's their last day, they're going to die today. Because I felt a bit like, you know, I'm so uncomfortable, it's so hot and I got my bag and we had to change bus and and then I'm like, come on, Jessica. Look at these hens, you know, they're like cramped together, like so tight and and they're so abused, you know, a lot of them were missing feathers and and they were on the way to slaughter, like after living a horrible life. It's so unfair and I'm really fortunate. And I'm gonna try and, and keep working, you know, towards a world where animals are respected. Just giving them, you know, the basic, very, very basic right of having uh, the right to live, you know, their own life. That'll be, that's like my goal. My goal is to make the world vegan. And uh, if somebody doesn't know what vegan means, that might sound like, wow, you're so extreme, like extremist, vegan, radical. You want to convert everyone to veganism. But veganism is not a bad thing, you know, it's about, peace and justice so maybe read read up on veganism if you don't know what it is it's like it's it's honestly i think it's like the solution to very many of the world's problems mm -hmm. yes this is where it looks like over here you can see lots of animals there's a dog running over there there's a couple of cows Lots of rubbish in India. I don't think like they have a working rubbish system. I haven't seen one anyway, you know. Even if I put something in the bin, I'm afraid finally it will just end up on the street or in the water. There's a person over there, there's a cow. Beautiful bird, blue bird flying there. So, a couple of cows on the road over there too. You probably can't see any of this. I'm filming with a with a GoPro. Okay, I'm gonna practice some handstands on the roof. <laughs> 